Today we are at Junecrest American School Dubai with their director. Bill, can you introduce yourself to the schoolscompared.com viewers and tell us about your background and what you do at Junecrest? Sure. Well, first, thank you, Schools Compared, for being here today. My name is Bill Delbrug, and I'm the headmaster here at Junecrest American School. Uh, my career, teaching career started in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where I was a band director and then also taught science and math and even language arts um, in the middle school. And then from there, I went to Atlanta and Florida where I became a principal, a superintendent, and I worked for the Department of Education for the state of Florida. And this is my 11th year with Esau Education Schools. I was the headmaster of their school in Cairo, Egypt for a while. And then I'm the founding headmaster here at Dunecrest American School in Dubai. This is a video series to help parents choose the right school for their child. Bill, what are the top three questions parents should ask schools when they visit and what are good answers to these questions? Well, I would say the first question that I'd, I'd recommend that, that people ask is, what is it that, that is good for my kid? How does my child learn? And then how will the school you know, integrate the needs of my child's learning into what they're doing? This is, this is the, at the end of the day, the most important thing is, is the success of your, your child, the success of their schooling, and building them for a better future. And so th this will be number one. The second thing I would put in place is, is the teacher that's in front of my, my child. I would ask as many questions about that teacher as I possibly could. That is the most important aspect of the success of your child is the teacher that's in front of them. And finally, I would say, you know, wh what are the goals and do the, of the school and do these goals of the school match the goals of my family and match the goals of our learning uh, journey that we're on as, as a family? Bill, what really matters when parents are looking for the right school for their child? I would say, again, I'm going to always go back to people. I think sometimes parents get confused with facilities, and while it is nice to have beautiful facilities, at the end of the day, this is a people business. And so it's the importance of your child getting along with your teacher and your child learning from the teacher. So that relationship between the teacher and your child is the most vital part of any school. What is the biggest mistake parents make when deciding on the right school? Probably, a, I would say it's a combination of a couple of things. I think here in Dubai, because there is so much, you know, what's the newest thing, what's the biggest glitz and glamour, is sometimes the glitz and glamour doesn't necessarily turn into what's the best instruction my child can receive. Again, the number one aspect of a good school is the relationship a teacher builds with that child. And so may, feeling comfortable with the teacher is, is a, a great aspect and don't, necessarily get confused with a good school does not necessarily mean the walls are the, the prettiest or has the most bling to it. Uh, what really matters is do you see student artwork up? Do you see student papers on the walls? Do you see an engagement level in the building? That is a, uh, a engaged building means that there's engaging lessons going on. Can you summarize the single most important piece of advice you can give parents when deciding on a new school for their child? I would say, you know, first thing, you, you have to reflect a little bit as a family. You have to say, okay, what is it that my child needs for their education? And then you build that needs around the school that you're going to go to. If a school meets the needs of, of your child and meets the needs of your family, then that's a great place for you. If you're going to school just because your friends are saying, hey, this is a great place, that's not necessarily the way uh, to, to make your child successful. Remember, just because you're friends with someone doesn't mean their child is gonna be like your child and that their learning is gonna be like your child's learning. You need to do your own research. You need to do your own view, uh, views uh, of the school and you need to make sure that you do your own research about the school. Again, ask questions about the relationship between the student and, and the teacher. And, and even take your child for a visit to the school. Those are always very important things to do. They need to feel comfortable because this school is going to be their second home. They will actually spend more time at school than they will uh, at, with you as they get older because of after school activities and, and what goes on in the building. And so it's important that your child feel comfortable at the school that they're going to. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.